one day, one day at a time. And if I live one more, the world will be mine. Try to live one day, one day at a time. It's the only way I know how. What is up friends, how y'all doing today? Today's video, I'm just gonna show you how to customize your virtual controllers, if you're gonna use them. And if you're gonna use a Bluetooth controller with Happy Chick, the virtual controllers will automatically disappear. So you don't have to worry about removing them manually, okay? So let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and hit play. Then single. All right, and while it's loading, all you have to do is just go ahead and press the, here on the bottom, in the middle of the screen, that's the menu, and we're gonna hit key adjustment. Okay, on this first option, we're here on the top right. It means that it's already highlighted, so on this one, you can actually move the buttons however you want, okay. And just to let you know that A, B, and C are the punches. D, E, and F are the kicks. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to organize them how we have them on, on the arcade. So A is the light punch. B is the medium punch. And C is the strong punch. The same for the kicks. D is light kick. E medium kick and F is the strong kick all right as you can see here the C is highlighted in blue so you can just press the middle of the screen and it will disappear okay that's only if you want to highlight one at a time and I'll show you a little uh, trick on that okay all right guys the second option is place with the uh, opacity just press the the button and it'll give you a plus and a minus and the minus it just uh, makes them disappear more like less less or you want more color and that will just depend on your customization okay the third one it's either you want the big buttons or small buttons okay all right guys also i forgot to mention on the third option which is that uh, makes the buttons bigger also, you can highlight one of the keys and you can make them just that button big or you can make it smaller, whichever you like or how you like to customize it. Either you want this one bigger or the C bigger. Okay. So that's just a little tip for that. Okay. Now back to the video. The fifth button, it's uh, this one's pretty cool because you can combine buttons. Uh, let's say we want all punches at the same time, like the light, the medium, and the strong punches. You just highlight them A, B, and C. You confirm, and you get a button. Okay. And also for the kicks, you can go to combine two, and you got D, E, and F. And there we go. You got number one, which is all all three punches and number two which is all three kicks all right and to remove them if you don't you know, if you don't want them anymore just go ahead and highlight it click on number one click on number five and we're gonna remove combine one which is a b c confirm and then number two also the same thing since we use combine two we remove d e and f and there you go and the sixth option is just either you want joystick or you want the cross. If you're going to use the virtual keys, I, I do recommend the, the cross because you have a little more control over the Hadoukens, Chorayukens, and the power moves. So there you go, guys. So that's a little uh, introduction to the customization of the virtual keys. Yeah.